So, hello everyone, how's it going? And now we are back with our interviews here at Fred Astaire Dance of Colleville. And now today I have the honor actually is to talk to someone who is a really, really special and a beautiful dancer and, you know, walked in that door at Fred Astaire Dance of Colleville and today, uh, you know, she's representing us at the competitions and performing, so she is really, really a great example to everyone who would try to take dance lessons. Now, she, her name is Mindy, and I will talk to you now, I'm very, very excited. So now, a few questions I would have that you can share with the public, yes? And the first one actually, how did you start taking dance lessons? So what was the, the agenda, what was your story? Show us. Okay, well I ended up in here to take ballroom dance lessons um, in order to support the Rotary Club and their fundraiser, Dancing for the Colleyville Stars. And I, I was asked to take part in it, and they would set us up with lessons here. And I, I was hooked. I mean, not only did we do a great job and raised a lot of money for worthy causes, but we had a blast with the exactly. choreography, with the costumes, and the event, the and event. everything. If you can get a ticket, I highly recommend you go to that event Absolutely. because you will see some wonderful dancing. We want to see you there. And you might end up getting inspired and coming in here to take some lessons too. So Absolutely. after that event, and ended, well, I mean, I was having a ball doing the dancing lessons. I hadn't okay. danced since I was a kid, and so I just kept it up. That's it. That's, that's really a... The best story that you can listen to, that you, you see something, you get inspired, and then now you are, it's in your everyday life, you know, it's, it's not even just a hobby anymore, it's a lifestyle of a dancer, right? And, you know, we as teachers, that's, that's, that's how we started when we were, we were little kids, especially in this group, we have mostly teachers who started childhood, yes? And uh, that's, that's what, that was really our story, very, very similar, you know, just see something, try it, and then, wow, okay, we are just connected and we, we do this every day and, and in every minute we are counting in our head or we are <laughs> practicing, so it sounds really crazy, but this is very true, actually. Sure. So, okay, um, can you please, this is the second one, can you please share every benefit, okay, which is, which is outside that you experience of taking lessons and, you know, it affects other aspects of your life, of your everyday life, uh, please, uh, can you share that and, and what would be those points actually? Well, there's a bunch of benefits really. I, I find that I'm more aware of my balance, of my core stability, of oh, yeah. movement, and I think that as we get older, that's more and more important in our life. Um, there's the creativity with it. Oh, the, absolutely. The music. I mean, I love all of the music. There's the just the challenge that I can learn absolutely still, yes and, and learn these wonderful dances that we've all seen for years and years yeah and now I know how to do some of them and, and I think that's awfully cool um, that's great. then there's also a really neat sense of community mm -hmm. I have to hand it to you guys because y'all been really intentional in how you create that everyone that works here is friendly and it's like an extended dance family and uh, very supportive and and we laugh a lot and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's lots of opportunities you know to, to, to get together and dance on a weekend and to bring your friends if you want to or bring your husband if you want to and um, I just applaud y'all on that because I think y'all made it really special to be a part of and that's that's part of what makes it so enjoyable yeah, and then thank you for saying that because you know uh, I as the as the director and, and also all the all the teachers here, we really put a lot of effort in this one, you know, because obviously the, the caliber of the dancers and the quality of the dancing is very important for us. It's re I'm really, really picky about it, actually. Well, and but you are great teachers. Yes, and, and I have to say that as somebody who's not a big dance background, that if I'm not getting it one way, somebody else clues into that, oh, yeah. and then it's presented in a different way, oh, and, yeah. you know, after time and time again, I finally do get it. Of and, course, and, of and course. And and you see that that really that society that we try to create i believe it has a drive you know because we all together we represented uh, the same dance studio back in our home country right and and you know just because of this we not just we became friends but but small things like for example when we went to to take the lessons you know or practice we didn't meet actually at the dance studio we met way ahead on the way 
pool at the team together and I don't know take the subway or take the bus or some but we were already you know on topic we were already talking about what we do every day so that's why you know we are friends for for nearly a lifetime you know and and I believe in the drive of that and definitely that's how what we want to create with you guys you know okay so now uh, the third one uh, the third question yes so you represented us you know at the regional championships in Houston and you danced very very well and you were looking fantastic in your outfit and everything now you know obviously for us for dancers who do it every nearly every month for us it's 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 really an automatic thing but it's really a big deal actually to get out there and you know take your dance position have your dance take a bow with confidence and everything and all the preparation that you put into we highly respect these moments you know so i would like you just to share to the people how how did you experience performing out there at the regional championships well, i loved it because you kind of repeat the dances over and over in order yes. so if you don't get it right the first time it's like you warmed up and then you're even better and you're even better and it is a confidence builder uh, and it's a blast uh, i mean even just being there in the watching, yeah. I, I I couldn't tear myself away. I love watching everyone. And, and you're rooting for your team and you're excited oh, for yeah. everybody's performance. And they're excited for you and um, it, it just could not have been any more fun. No, I'm very, very happy to hear that. And you, know, you see, this is again about the society part that we just talked about, that these two studios, Fort Worth, Colleyville, we were so strong team, you know, uh, in every aspect, in the, in the cohesive uh, part of it, in the dance part of it, and the energy is just up here, you know, the whole weekend, and, you know, at the end, like, students, they were saying the team of Worth, Coley Worth, Coley Worth. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny and all that, but it's very true at the same time, you know? So now, uh, the next one, tell me if you have a favorite dance, and if yeah, yes, why is that the favorite? I think the swing is my favorite right now. But I also, because I love the speed, I love the music. I mean, it is just, it's just fun. Um, but I also, I like the waltz. I mean, to me, it's just beautiful and elegant, and um, it just is like the perfect ideal. Nice, But my favorites kind of change with whatever I'm working on at the time. And I have to say, every one of them is a nice challenge. Absolutely. And you feel that sense of achievement. With Excellent them. notes, because it truly will keep keep on changing. Yeah. Trust me, for me as well. Okay, I have a basic favorite dance, which is the Pasado Blend, very connected with the, uh, you know, Spanish. I haven't learned that one yet. Not yet, <laughs> yes. And the Castagnetta and the flamenco dances and all that. But it keeps changing. You know, sometimes I love the cha-cha better, then I love the words better, then I, I'm so much in a foxtrot mode and I like this jazz music and all that. So it's it's very, very natural actually what you say. Now, last one, okay? Would you now you are the part of this holy worth Fred Astaire team, right? So if you would recommend, say why would you recommend to try us? Well, I just think that it's always important to take on new challenges. And if you've ever toyed with the idea of ballroom dance, or maybe you've got a kid getting married, and you and your husband want to look good out on the dance floor, come and give it a try. You'll get excellent, excellent instruction, um, great encouragement, and you'll get such a sense of just pride and achievement and being able to still, at any age, learn something new. So I sure hope you'll come on out and join us and um, hope to see you soon. Well guys, you know, you heard all of it. So hopefully we will see you in the studio, Fred Astaire, Colville, and Fort Worth. Thank you for listening and see you soon. Awesome.